Currently, the window of opportunity is between 12th to 19th of July. So currently, the Chandrayaan-3 spacecraft is fully integrated. We have completed the testing. We are building the rocket now. The rocket assembly is going on. Another two days, the rocket assembly will be completed. Then we will assemble the Chandrayaan-3 on the rocket and we'll go for the launch campaign. So currently, the Chandrayaan-3 spacecraft is fully integrated. We have completed the testing and also mated with the rocket uh, uh, compartment. That's called the payload fairing. And uh, we are building the rocket now. The rocket assembly is going on. Another two days, the rocket assembly will be completed. Then we go through a series rigorous testing program. Then we'll assemble the Chandrayaan-3 on the rocket and we'll go for the launch campaign. So currently the window of opportunity is between 12th to 19th of July. And we will take the earliest possible date, maybe 12th, maybe 13th or maybe 14th. We don't go to the end unless there is a technical issue cropping up. That's why there is no exact date today announced. And uh, we will come, come to that exact date after all the tests are completed. So people are ro giving rumors of various dates, so it doesn't matter final date will be will be within this so because the report suggests that on 13th to 30 uh, on 13th is the date decided for the chandrayaan what is uh, your take uh, no no it is not a decided when i say it is not decided who else is deciding i don't know <laughs> uh, artemis accord is very important for india and us uh, the both the countries have signed it how yeah. big is this for the uh, space in india space. see we are looking at artemis accord as a political uh, engagement with the uh, us basically it is a statement of intent that we, when U.S. Uh, is proposing a collaborative work in the space segment, especially exploration of outer planets uh, in a very cordial atmosphere between different nations, we agree with that. So it, it, does, it has a big uh, statement, especially we would like to uh, work with the U.S., especially on technologies which are high-end. Uh, space is one of them. So once you do that, I believe that it will open uh, new opportunities for industries who are in Indian, Indian industries who are working in space sector to work with the U.S. companies who are equally working in the space sector. So the advancement of the electronics, new processes, etc. takes place in U.S. And this access to this new technology to the Indian companies is so important for them to innovate and bring up value, which, which will give an opportunity to market them in the U.S. market. This is precisely the objective for us. So we would like to make sure the Indian companies contribute to the U.S. space program. It's not a great thing, no? So the earlier the U.S. sees it as an opportunity because Indian companies have the technological strength today. They have a cost effectiveness and they have a low development cycle time, which they want to bank on. So it is, it is the purpose that it is jointly uh, developed this whole accord signing for the benefit of U.S. as well as the benefit of India. Last up would be on the Aditya, sir. Everybody is curious on the update on Aditya. It's a very big uh, project. What is the update on that? Update is that satellites is now getting integrated. The payloads are de developed by various agencies. It has reached uh, the satellite center. Currently, uh, payloads are getting integrated with the satellite. And uh, it will go through a series of testing, including thermovac, vibration, so many things. And uh, after that, we will we'll have the launch. The, it goes in a PSLV. But before that, another PSL launch is scheduled, uh, end of July. So that will send a commercial launch. So after that, we are already starting another building, uh, next to PSLV. Uh, and we are targeting by August end that uh, Aditya can go.